Mike, let's go out on the golf course and hit a few variety shots. When you have an uphill lie, because your left foot is higher than your right, you have to flex the left foot to have the position of the shoulders that you should have to strike it proficiently. So I'm going to get around here. I'm going to flex my left knee that, that way. Now my hips feel like they're horizontal to the ground here. But if I did this, they'd be slanted down. So you are flexing this knee and you're extending this knee. When you hit, you have to move off of that heel and you're playing the ball a little forward instead of playing it in the normal lie because you're going to make it go high. You understand? Playing it right there. When you come in here, you're coming into the ball like that and coming under it, and it puts it up there, and it doesn't roll very much. Now, Michael, get your position of your feet and shoulders. You, okay, so I'm not straightening that left leg. I'm no. just I'm cramping it where it'll no, fit the side. No, you're straightening the right leg and bending yeah. the left. Where's the weight on the right foot? You'll feel more weight on the right because of the gravity. But your left leg is flexed. No, mm -hmm. it's bent. It's bent. You're straightening your right. Now... Now, mm -hmm. that squares up your body. Mm -hmm. Understand? That way, you have to flex. Now, okay. now, when you come back, you've got to shift into that heel as much as you can. Now, all right, pick up the heel, bend that knee, okay? It won't bend as freely because of the gravity. Okay. Of course, working against it. All right. Okay, let's see you do it. Mm -hmm. That's right. You feel more balanced right there with that knee flex. This is the only exception I have with that knee being in this position, okay? Mm-hmm. Almost hit it in the hole, but you, you, I, I want to let the hands work under it, you know. Okay. You're not hitting it down, you're raising it. Come on up under it. Now flex that left knee, straighten that right knee. Now you'll hit it that way. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay, hit another. Flex that left knee, straighten the right knee. More hands? Yeah, have to, yeah, play the ball a little more, more forward so you can get it up a little higher. That's more like it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now watch your head. You're going to keep that head steady. Okay. Turn that head, you lose precision. That's the way. Okay? Mm hmm Now, that's the uphill lie. Downhill lie, you have to flex, overflex the right leg, overflex it. Now, normally, it'd be about there you're here. Now, see my shoulders there, and I'm in balance. But if I get here, I'm off balance. Gravity will want to pull my head toward that low point. So, you flex the right knee more than you do in a regular shot, okay? Okay. Like yeah, move your weight onto the left leg. Mm -hmm. That way. Now it's free. And you it, play it like in a closed position? No, sir. Play it just normal, right, right there. All you're doing is you have an open knees position. Mm -hmm. All right, now come on back. You can't. Now let the left knee that. Now cock your hands and hit it that way. That way. Okay, and let the hip moves over. Move over. Look, that way. Keep your head back. That way. Now the left, right shoulder is turning underneath the spine. Mm -hmm. Now let the hands free up. Let the hands go free out that way. So do I cut cut underneath it or yeah. I don't hold it? No, you want to boom. You want this thing to go in, into a right angle after you hit the ball. The club at the wrist. Okay. It's going into a right angle. Let's go ahead and through. Do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm hmm Now you've got a real deeply flexed right knee. All right, and you've got your weight against that right hip now. Come out. Now pick up the heel, pick up the heel that way. Just pick up the heel. That's all. That's the way you hit, hit the downhill shots like that. Okay. To right. get them up. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you can hit and keep it low, easy. But we're trying to raise the ball, which is the toughest thing to do in golf. Hit it down, lie, and uh, raise it. Understand? Okay. Just hit it? Yeah. Now, right. See how that ball got elevation off or down? Yeah, it's good measured too. Yeah. Don't don't allow the chin to the ball in the center or the No, it's near the no, it's near near the center line. 
more more so than it would regularly shot, just a little bit behind the center. Okay. Now, see, it's the highest point. You have to. Excellent. Now, that's your up and down. Now, side heel lie where the club is lower than your feet. Now, when you get that, you got to sit back more. Sit like, back into the hill. Sit back into the hill. Now, your balance is is a precious thing here. Get your feet a little little closer together. Now, now you're going to swing more or less from here. You're, you're retaining or uh, maintaining balance, but let the knee flex and then let it. Now, come when you come forward, let the right heel raise. Right heel raise that way. But you understand by sitting back like this, gravity don't pull you into the bottom of the hill. Okay? So if I was like this, I could be you just, going yeah, like you'd that. be going going into the bottom of the hill. You, okay. you kind of balance uh, by moving the deer ear way behind the ball in the middle of the stance. Yes, off the middle. Now pick up the right heel. You got to be on the left heel when when you do it. Keep your chin still. Okay. All right. Let's see you hit hit that duck out there. <laughs> Hit that duck. Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. That's that's good enough. You can okay. you can make another swing if you want to. Okay. So even the short game, everything just related to that pivot. Yeah. If you, see, you got to move. You other otherwise you can't just you're uh, putting yourself off balance if you don't raise this. Mm -hmm. You can't keep the center of gravity back, and you get to. You got to get the center ahead and keep the swing hook or center behind. And all I can do is that. If you keep the heel on the ground, the shoulders will do that, and you hit down on the ball. Okay. Okay. Now, what about a uphill lie? All right. Uphill lie, side hill. Yeah. Uphill, side hill. And there's one thing that determines an uphill lie and a downhill lie. When you're a downhill lie, you have more deviation or a deviation. When you're uphill line, you have more radial flexion, so it, it the sole fits the slant of the hill. Mm -hmm. Now, here, it's there. Up, yeah. This, well, because you're reaching for a little bit, it raises yeah, the wrist, you, right? See, one thing you have to do: you don't want the heel on the ground, you don't want the toe. You want to set the lie of the club on the ground and say uphill. We're going to hit the uphill south hill lie. You play this ball over the center. Okay. Up the now, button. Now, the wrist, instead of being like a normal lie, they're more cock in the left wrist there, you see? Mm -hmm. That'll Not make like the that. sole, that'll make the sole fit the angle of the incline of the hill, you understand? Mm hmm So, you'd... Your hands are lower and the club heavy, up higher mm -hmm. because the ball is above your feet. Because of the incline. Yeah. Okay. And the yeah. knees are a little straighter? No, you're just in a regular stance there. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, if you don't get in this position, you'll pull the shot generally because the, the heel will hit the ground, the toe will wrap around the shaft. Mm -hmm. By having it, the sole sole to the incline of the hill, it'll go straight. Mm -hmm. 